Leo and Karai, sin in the tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. <laughs> Although I think it's a little bit too early for that. What's up guys, Jace here to give y'all my review for this week's episode TMNT and pretty much overall it was a very entertaining episode for the most part. We got some more interaction between Leo and Karai. Mm. <laughs> they're, they're a pretty fun pair if I do say so myself. This episode pretty much starts off with you know the turtles fight against a, a group of Krang in some random alleyway. And Leo just notices that the Foot Clan is watching them, and up there is Karai, and he starts to show off, you know, starts to, you know, say, oh, I'll save you, Rap, and uh, I'll save you, Donnie. I'm like, man. <laughs> but pretty much the main gist of this episode is the whole, um, what's it called? The World Genome Project subplot that was introduced in this episode where. We see April. She's she's uh, taking out um, some of her saliva, and it's going to send it to the World Genome Project. And I'm pretty sure this is like a real project that exists in the real world. I'm pretty sure I've, I've heard that name before. Worldwide Genome Project. I heard, I heard that before. So I'm pretty sure it's a real um, a real project. And uh, pretty much later on in the episode, when she goes to deliver the saliva to the at her high school. She comes across this really weird um, lady. I'm Miss Gamble from the Worldwide Genome Project. Come with me. Creepy as fuck. Right off the bat, you already know that the Krang are involved with this whole Worldwide Genome Project and stuff. And pretty much, besides that, you know, it's mostly a Leo focused episode where, you know, he tries to, you know, where he's had that conf He has. You know, he's a teenager, you know, that's why they're called the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, shocker. So, you know, he has those teenage feelings for Karai, you know. Even though she's obviously not the girl he thinks he he thinks she is. And, you know, he thinks that, you know, she's not that bad. But, of course, she's, you know, pretty evil. And then we got a scene where uh, Baxter Stockman was creating like these robotic legs for Zebra because, you know, he can't walk because, you know, he's a fish man. And, you know, he's having trouble, you know, getting like the whole neural whatever majigger to work, you know, in order to have the robotic legs function properly. And this is where uh, Karai brings up, mentions the, the robots, the Krang. And the Shredder, he doesn't have any interest in that because, you know, he's so obsessed with, you know, revenge. Revenge! Going back to the Krang, what the Turtles find out about, you know, the whole, you know, conspiracy with the Worldwide Genome Project and that is related to the Krang, they start to investigate and, you know, they come across um, the the main building, which apparently is in New York City, which I'm not surprised. Get some epic fights between, you know, the Turtles and the Krang in the Worldwide Genome Project area, and Karai also joins in because, you know, why not? I really like the character interactions between Karai and the rest of the turtles, especially Rap, because you know how Rap doesn't trust her because she's part of Foot. She's part of Foot. Uh, stuttering. Rap doesn't trust her because she's part of the Foot Clan. <laughs> Leo, being a dumbass, presses a random button by mistake and creates this weird tentacle cat monster thingy. But I gotta admit, it's kind of adorable. I'm just saying. <laughs> and Mikey. Once again, Mikey, he can't, he can't come up with a name for it, so he calls it Justin. And I'm like, why not? <laughs> Take that, Justin! And Karai, you know, being that evil bitch, you know, abandons the turtles while they're in the middle of fighting, you know. <laughs> and she's like, oh, that's messed up, right? <laughs> that, that was pretty fucked up. It was pretty fucked up. But once everything's all settled down, Leo had to come clean about how he had bad judgment on Karai and you know how he didn't really trust everyone else you know when it come when it came to telling them about her. Leo he still has some feelings towards you know Karai. Oh and also the Shredder knows about the Krang now. Well he knew about the Krang but now he has an interest with the Krang now that once Karai brought back uh, one of the robots. So could this be the beginning of a Shredder 
slash Krang Robot Army? I think so. I think so. So yeah, overall, good episode. This has been JC. Comment, rate, subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll catch you guys again next time. Peace.